Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, honey. The ankle's a little mean. <laughs> so, I was planning on getting more done today, but ugh, I guess Amber had other things in mind. <laughs> no. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a cha. For today's video, it's the concert upload. We know it's going to be that, the thumbnail. Uh, it's called Best Night of My Life. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, whatever. She's finally getting out of the house for the first time in, like, the greater part of the last five years. So, good job, Ambi. Good job. You finally went and did something. I think it's going to be interesting. I think it'll be interesting to see how much she actually shows. Because, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I just have a feeling like there's going to be some Amberlynism to it. <laughs> but we're going to have to wait and see. Also, yeah, she's still uploading these while allegedly looking for rarity. So we'll see. We'll see, dog. But yeah, thank you so much again, guys. And let's dive right on into this, shall we? Hey, guys. Welcome to this. Hey, Amber. You're sounding a little chipper. Video. So I do want to make a disclaimer again that this video was filmed days before Rarity went missing. Days before or during? Hmm. What did you do with the animals when you guys were gone at this concert? We're still putting in all the efforts to find her. Which is very little to none. We know Amber Lynn. I kind of just felt like a shell of a person in this moment. Well, you always have been, to be fair. Sorry. <laughs> and I really wanted to get up old content and content where I was happy and because she needed money don't get it twisted it's all for the money I just want to continue putting positive vibes and I know like I have a lot of anxiety there's a lot of deep breaths girl and worry and fear regarding rarity so sometimes I don't feel very positive I'm not gonna lie but, um, I am doing everything I can to f Everything that Amber Lynn can do, though, is not enough. That's the issue. So, she can say she's doing everything that she possibly can. She can't go out and just walk around by herself. So, she isn't. Find her, and so is Tommy. And a lot of you have been so supportive, so thank you very much. Um, but I... I'm still calling it, guys. Place your bet. She ain't finding that cat. Do you want to share this vlog? And then I have no more old content after this. Um, oh, uh-oh. So, girly plop, you're going to have to work. Everything will be up to date. So, so you've been there for almost two months now. Or two months, maybe even longer. Who freaking knows? You've been there for a long time now, and you've only recorded that many videos? Wow, Amber. Great job. So keep rarity in your guys' thoughts, please. I'm I'm hoping, best case scenario, she's living her life, finally being treated the way she should with some random nice person. But, dog, I kind of low-key hope she doesn't ever find her way back. Sorry. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, because I know I did. <laughs> Anyways, all right, here it is. I'm sure you loved every second, Amber. Hello, hello. Welcome to a vlog. Yes, we're actually vlogging. We're actually vlogging today, folks. It's been a hot minute since I, since, uh, what? <laughs> Redo. Hello, guys. Do you think she's been doing more uh, substances lately? And I'm not talking about no Demi Moore, all right? <laughs> <laughs> to a new vlog i'm literally leaving in that first part because that just goes to show like i am so excited right now we're i don't care girl i really don't it isn't lost on me that she is still uploading this stuff knowing that people are going to misconstrue it like let's be for so for real on our way to the billy eilish we're we're gonna go hang up to the billy eilish okay <laughs> oh billy eilish she said she's amber you're not going to be within 5,000 feet of that girl, all right? No, it's, she'll be probably within, like, maybe a 1,000. Sing to me, and I'm just going to watch, and I'm going to be singing back. 
And I'm going to be clapping. And I'm going to be screaming. Of course she thinks, like, it's an individual concert for just her. Not that there are, like, 20,000 other people there. <laughs> and I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Like, this is my... Amber, I can guess. They present from Tommy. Like, I can't even believe it. Going to a Billie Eilish concert. Like, that is my number one thing on my bucket list. That is, like, my dream come true. Like, I... Well, <laughs> she said... I'm gonna give you one last hurrah, and then it's back to the basement, girl. Your life is over. Can't even, like, it just feels so surreal. Right? And maybe because it's a bucket list thing, maybe these girls know something that we don't. Maybe Amberlynn is fully prepared to, you know, be chauffeured on out of here. Now we're just getting some gas type deal, and yeah. The drive is like three and a half hours. I'm nervous. I don't know. Why don't you get out and pump the gas? It could be a little bit of good exercise for you, gal. What it is. I've never. And of course, not a seatbelt in sight. been in uh, like one area with 20,000 people before ever in my life. Anxiety. I have a little, I have a little anxiety, <laughs> but. Girl, I bet. I'm surprised no one snapped a picture. How did she get wheeled in and no one was like, oh. It's going to be great. Thanks, babe. Not that, like, you know, oh, they're wheeling in a biggie. Not like that, you guys. But, like, someone had to have noticed that Amber Lynn was at this concert, right? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I, it just, I feel like I'm dreaming. I'm Eye roll. Get it over with. Literally dreaming right now. You guys, there is the city of Chicago. Oh, my God. There is no way in hell they made it back to those pets that night. I'm telling you guys, what if something bad happened during the Billie Eilish concert? <laughs> this is so exciting. She's literally never been in a city that big before. Oh, baby. 15 minutes away. <laughs> Ew. I hate ugh, that side profile. <laughs> Terrifying. Ugh. Oh my god. Shivers down my spine. Gosh, I'm like, you guys, I literally feel like I'm dreaming. Like, look! Oh, I love a city. I am a city. Amber, you never been to one. Girl, look at it. <gasps> okay, Chicago. She is a city girl, though. She is. Zero freaking survival skills. Oh, pop off. Billy's in there somewhere. Where is she? In that building? Maybe. Who knows? She's so stupid. Oh, my God. It's literally like a little kid. Look. Oh, my gosh. We are eight minutes away. <laughs> what was that squeak? Y'all, this line is... Amber, there ain't no way in hell you're going to be standing and doing nothing in that it's crazy but there it is at the united center oh my god imagine seeing amberlynn roll by holy shit i'd probably crap my pants well oh <laughs> uh, yeah they had to go to a suite didn't they yeah guys this is not the normal concert experience let me just tell you that so yeah, a thousand percent. She had to spend a lot of freaking money to get this ticket. Both of these tickets for a whole sweet box. That's like, you guys, that's like a few grand, okay? There's no way Tommy paid for all this. Wow, look, she's going to be right there. Like, what? Are you excited, baby? Yes, I am. Wow. Oh, my Oh, thank you. Thank you. The best. Li literally, like a whole month ahead. Okay. Ever, like literally. Thank you. Oh, yeah, your mom never gave you a great gift. Okay. All right, I want you guys to see how small the chairs are. Look. Yeah, Amber. I told you, girl. You're gonna be stressing that chair out tonight. We were worried because the arms doesn't go up, right? But y'all, I do fit, okay? To the haters. Stick it to you. Amber, that's not fitting, okay? That's not fitting, girl. Just, I mean, her butt touches the back because, hello, it's that big. She's literally sitting on the edge of that seat. Oh, it's gonna be fucked after. As it squeaks. <laughs> but I do fit. Okay. Comfortably? The view? Could not be better. Like, I'm gonna be zooming in like this. Like, what's up? So. I roll, dude. I mean, listen. I can understand the excitement of it all. 
I remember my first concert too, but I was 14, you know, not 34. Tony went to the restroom and I just want to sit here and say like, this is the sweetest thing ever because this is literally my dream. Okay. Okay, but, you know, Crystal's family keeping you not homeless for three years. Over three years. Okay, sure. But Billie Eilish. Like, and the fact that she did this, like, what? Dude, something tells me Tommy did not think this out. Or she didn't pay for it, at least. I can almost guarantee that. I, yeah. So the show starts in 23 minutes. Uh, there is performers before that so yeah opening acts girl the naked brothers band was opening so you better put some goddamn respect <laughs> Hell. so y'all had to switch seats i look weird <laughs> you look like veruca salt after she eats the damn blueberry thing we're waiting for Billy. Oh my god. I'm literally shaking. To be fair, we've never seen Amber go out and do anything remotely exciting. So, it's something. Oh my god! This is extremely awkward. She's just as I expected. Really right there. <laughs> Not Amber singing in the background. Oh my god. Trying not to be a Grinch, but like, come on, it's Amber. You did this, baby. I roll. <laughs> you did this, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> This is a concert that would put me to sleep. I'm sorry. It's not like a, it's boring. It's just the music. It's so slow. <laughs> Unless you're down on the floor, I'd be sitting. I pretty much recorded the whole show. Actually, Tommy did. Thank you. Thank you, baby. But, like, copyright, hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's so awkward sitting there. <laughs> So I'm gonna have the memories for myself, but I'm t I want to know why they switch seats. You guys, this was the ultimate best night of my actual life. Like Billie Eilish is everything to me. Her music has. She also fully ain't sitting back in that chair, so got me through a lot. And to me, her music is magic, and it's powerful. And to be able to ex eye roll, let's all just say the same things that we've already said before, please. Let's not elaborate at all. Experience this in person I, I deep down i never thought i was capable but i was capable like you're capable of anything when you really oh my gosh are you capable of finding your damn cat they put your mind to it and you guys use me as motivation <laughs> <laughs> oh of course back to i'm a motivator i'm inspiration inspiration tina Jesus, shut up, girl. Like, if you feel like if you can't get yourself out there and you can't be in a crowd of 20,000 people, it's literally worth it. Like, see. Okay. Well, if there's another 500 pounder out there listening, there you go. <laughs> Eye roll. Billy changed my life. It altered my brain chemistry. Oh, my fucking God. Dude. Can we stop with the TikTok BS lingo? You don't know what you're saying, and what you're saying means absolutely freaking nothing. Can you please stop?
Are you going to be a better person because of this? I highly freaking doubt it. Thank you so much, babe. This is the best birthday present, like, I ever got in my whole entire life. Okay. All right. Once again, people kept you from being homeless, but okay. So I just now edited this clip, and it was so fun to go back and, like... So do we think she edited this before the cat went missing, or... Hmm relive the memories i want to go back a million times over every single day and what i saw of chicago like even just in the dark like hi take me <laughs> what i saw of chicago which wasn't a whole hell of a lot girl back i love a city like cities are my favorite i'm they're only her favorite because it has a lot of food very close. A city girl through and through. Oh, during Bill- Never lived in one though. Okay. Well, I guess Lexington counts, but I don't know. Does it? The Eilish. My mom actually ended up calling me. So I answered it and it was video chat. And so my mom got to see some of Billie Eilish and she was so grateful. And it was just- She was grateful? Bitch, for what? I swear, dude, everyone around Amber just has to be constantly blowing smoke up her ass. I swear. Like a cute little experience because, like I said, we were actually going to go together, me and my mom, but it was sold out and, like, blah, blah, blah. So, like, see it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, something tells me there's a lot of backstory missing in that blah, blah, blah. Ah. Huh. Hmm. Or maybe it was, oh, I couldn't wait to be dropped off at my feeder's house. So, we didn't get the chance to go. Not, like, seeing my mom, like, happy and, like, seeing Billy as well. Like, it was, like, a weird, weird cute little experience. But, like, ah, you guys, what? Genuinely so cannot get over it. Like, Billy Eilish and I were in the same room together. You're a 30-something-year-old gawking over a early 20s, okay? Chill out, dog. Chill out. And you were obsessing over her when she was, like, 15. Now... It's not like uh, you can't enjoy artists that are younger than you. That's not what I'm getting at. She had a weird obsession with Billie Eilish saying very sexual things about her when she was young. And isn't that the whole reason why Billie presents herself the way that she does? Is because she doesn't want to be overly sexualized. And yet one of her own female fans is one of the ones to do that to her. Interesting. I'm sure you guys have a celebrity where you're like, oh my god, if you saw them in person, you'd be like, is this even real? Well, Amber, see, I'm a person with a capable body and who works, so I go see whoever I want whenever I want. There's that. <laughs> Sorry if that comes off really cocky, but like, even in high school, I was earning my way to get to those Gaga concerts, so <laughs> sorry, you're just, you know, lazy. It was just, like, genuinely amazing. And, of course, also, sorry to keep pausing, but, of course, also, this had to be fully planned by Tommy. If Tommy didn't go through all the effort to fully plan this out and to make sure that she got accessible seating and whatnot for Amber, then it wouldn't have happened. It was genuinely so cool to be, like, surrounded by 20,000 people who, like, were all there for the same reason, like... And they were all probably under the age of 19, if we're being honest. We all love Billy, and, like, the... Wow, Amber. Vibes were just so good, like, everyone was so sweet. Please clarify if you're filming this before or after Miss Rarity running away, because you just seem so damn happy. And the people who were sitting next to us, we became, like, not friends. Amber, there was no one sitting next to you, dude. It was, this is literally your own little private kind of box situation. Like concert friends? If you guys have been to a concert, then you know. Amber! <laughs> she goes to one concert and then she's like, if you've been to a concert, then you know. <laughs> oh my god. She's so freaking uh, annoying, cringe. Whatever you want to call it. Like, we were just, like, talking the whole time. Not during Billy, but while we were waiting for Billy, because there was also performers before that, and then also we were there super early. So, like, it was just, like... Wow, Amber. Wow. Why would you get there super early? What the hell? So, even more hours and hours 
that the pets were left unattended for? Okay. Hands down. The best night of my life. Like, I, I just can't stop gushing over it. Like, okay. Billy knows how to put on a concert. And, oh, my God, her voice is perfection. And also, like, some of you guys are not going to understand this at all. But if you understand, then you know. If you know, you know. So Wildflower, literally one of my favorite songs by her, like, all time. Like I, I'm just going to let her breeze on through this, y'all, because I really don't care. Sorry. You no, know, every single song she's ever done, like, it's that type of obsession. But Wildflower is one of my all-time favorites. Don't care. She had, like, the back voices and all of the beautiful music magic that she does with her voice. And so Chicago Night 2 is what I was a part of. I went November 14th. All what I was a part of. Girl, if you're in the very back row, I don't know, as so I'd say you were a part of it. The audience was singing her back vocals. Like, it was so beautiful. So now in every concert since then, since November 14th, that she has done, the audience is doing that. So, like, it was kind of cool to be, like, part of... <laughs> something that was like created and it literally is magic like oh my god man the whole audience is billy's back vocals like what it's just so beautiful like oh i wish i could show you guys like who told her what a back vocal was all the footage that i have i have so much of it and it was just like the best time of my life like, a lot of incredible uh, once again 34 years old people were getting into my head when i shared months ago that i wanted to go to Billie Eilish with my mom. Like, people were like, you wouldn't be able to do that. You wouldn't be able to hang at a concert. I was. Like, I was able to walk. I was able to... Okay, you... Girl, you definitely got chauffeured. You didn't show us what it looked like till you were on that top floor. Because trust and believe, most of the beginning floors and, like, the stadium seating floors, they don't look like that. She definitely had to go through, like, the handicapped way. I was able to fit in the chairs like I was able to do all of it like don't ever let people make you feel incapable or make you feel like so then why didn't you do it Amber huh you waited so long okay it was because other people were telling you sorry but that just sounds like a you have no backbone kind of issue like if you're gonna let people on the influence on the oh wow <laughs> if you're gonna let people on the internet influence your actual life choices and actions that you make dog get the hell off the internet you are not made for this like you're not worthy of something because you are i roll you're worthy of a live stream i guess i don't say you're worthy to be there girl anyways no one's worthy of being somewhere that's that's a little mm, weird feeling because then what do you feel entitled to any space? Because that's not all right either. Not everyone is entitled to be wherever they want, Amber. I love you, Billy. Oh, my God. I roll, girl. <laughs> love someone your own age. I love you, babe, for creating this moment for me. Like, are you joking me? Literally, it's time of my life. Anyways, I love you. <laughs> she said, well, <laughs> get back in the basement. You guys, bye. Gross. Let's check the comments on that one. I fit in the chair, y'all. I can literally hear it breaking. No, for real. You could already tell that the seat was hyperextended when she stood up. She's probably hiding close by. You need to be out there calling and looking with a flashlight every night as late as you can. Please, dude. Please. Her maximum amount of effort is a thousand percent checking the cameras on her little app. Glad you're working on your bucket list. Not much time left to get it all done. Yeesh. I can't with the, I'm a city girl through and through, when she's never stepped foot in a city because she wouldn't be able to maneuver it. Snail chair? That chair is a normal size. Your size is the problem. Well, wow, the bar is so low that attending a concert is a great accomplishment, and we should use Hamber as motivation. <laughs> Is her litter box outside? A sweater of yours? She doesn't know this place and it's Tommy's house. You need to put your scent outside. Are you checking with the shelters, asking the neighbors, putting up flyers, leaving out the litter box? No. I hope she packed tissue paper and bifocals for the nosebleeds. <laughs> Billy be looking like an ant. <laughs> I'm rooting for that beautiful cat. Yeah. Don't give up. I had a cat that was missing for two weeks and he came back. Praying for your sweet baby. Where is Rarity documentary coming soon? I guess that's what they meant. Girl, literally no one even gave a fuck. 
about your shit-ass concert accompanied by your lame-ass vlog. This could have been an email. Yo. Is it just me or has she gotten a lot bigger? Well, duh. This is so sad. Her going to a concert is the best thing that's ever happened to her. Dream bigger. I feel so blessed to have been to dozens of shows and festivals and having that relatively low on my life-changing events in my life. Phew. This really put Amber into perspective for me. Her life is nothing, dog, alright? And that's her own fault. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. That chair is a tighter fit than the sausage casing. <laughs> Must have been super uncomfortable. That's why they switched seats. Hello, it's ready. Oh my god, it's so unbelievably embarrassing to be openly crying over a Gen Z pop store at your Jurassic age. <laughs> Yo! Ah! We're all using you as motivation to be nothing like you. Thanks, Amberlynn. That's the biggest nose I've ever seen. Yo! I, I instantly know they're talking about Tommy. That's terrible. You're full of sheet. I was asking people to give you grace, but you're out. Have the best time of your life while your baby is missing. How inhumane are you? <laughs> I think this person's a little confused, but it's okay. I, I like the aggression. I've supported you through so much, but this is beyond low. You took the bar to hell. You will reap what you sow. You know what? Not the Ann babies getting themselves confused. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, that makes sense for them, though. The obnoxious lip smacking at the beginning is like nails on a chalkboard. She filmed this before the cat went missing. Come on now. Use you as motivation that I can do anything I put my mind to? I'm gonna get nothing done then. <laughs> it feels so distasteful posting this now. Right, she could have waited a week. I've been to United Center before and that's definitely the nosebleed wheelchair accessible section Amberlynn is sitting in. Well, yeah. You're insane for posting this. Cannot tell you how embarrassed I am to be this early. <laughs> I thought best night of her life because she got engaged. All right, we're not getting to the sappy ones. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate y'all. I'm going to get this edited and sent right out. This put a little bit of a wrench in my schedule for the day, but we'll work on through it. Thank you so, so much. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a cha. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.